Hello, I am Janet Daniels, English Department Chair at Homewood Flossmoor High School, and I'm here to share a little bit about the English Department with you. First of all, our Homewood Flossmoor transfer goals include the following list of ideas that we would hope that our students reach by the time that they end their career with us. We hope that they value diversity, that they recognize the need for inclusivity, that they're empathetic and respectful, and they're able to prosper in a global society. We hope that they can communicate effectively based on purpose, task, and audience. We want them to be able to collaborate and respectfully work with one another, and most of all, invite diverse perspectives. We hope that they can govern for themselves in a variety of situations, self-regulate and advocate for themselves and for others, and engage in social responsibility. We hope that they can think critically and creatively to develop innovative solutions in an ever-changing world, and then adapt to evolving circumstances and lead change while demonstrating resilience. In the English wing of the building, we also have a set of transfer goals that we have developed as a department, and it is our hope that our students will be able to reach these by the time that they have spent four years with us. We want them to be able to engage in situations to advance their personal growth, strengthen their independent thought, and gain understanding and appreciation of diverse perspectives. We want them to be able to read and analyze both traditional and non-traditional texts. We want them to be able to orally communicate effectively and appropriately for various audiences. And finally, we want them to be able to compose well-reasoned, well-structured, and effective pieces of writing. This staff list here and the images you see in front of you are the teachers that your students may have standing in front of them in one of our classrooms. This is our full staff. Um, so anywhere from our freshman teachers to our sophomore to our junior to our senior teachers are pictured here. A few things to note about our faculty is that we have 27 teachers in our English department and including in those is four alum. I think it's really nice to recognize those alum as those individuals who feel really indebted to our community and um, are willing and wanting to come back and almost repay it in a sense. 23 teachers in our department have master's degrees. Four have presented at national conferences. We have two published authors, one Golden Apple Award winner, two University of Chicago Outstanding Teacher Award recipients, 14 coaches and activity sponsors, and five staff members who rotate through tutoring in our writing center. When we think about our core curriculum and the classes that our students have to take, we hope that they strive um, within them to develop reading, writing, speaking, and critical analysis skills while preparing students um, to be thoughtful, productive citizens of the world. Our ninth grade students take an English one course, which is essentially a survey of genre. So they'll read an epic poem, they'll read some shorter poems, they'll read some short stories, they'll read a novel and a play. Um, and they will really learn the base vocabulary and terms that will continue on in their courses to come in their future years. Our 10th grade students in English 2 really put a strong focus on rhetorical analysis and persuasive tactics. It's also the class in which our students learn the most about speech. And so they, if they receive equal instruction on writing, reading, and speaking um, for the means of giving a presentation or speaking for a purpose in terms of a true speech assignment. Our 11th grade students are able to take American Lit, AP Lang, or IB Lit Lang 1. Um, I always say American Lit is a class for students even if they're a non-reader, and by a non-reader I don't mean that they can't read, of course, but just simply that they're not interested in reading. Usually within that class they always find something that they're willing and wanting to connect to. Our 12th grade students are able to take African American Lit or Contemporary Lit, AP Lit, or IB Lit Lang 2. In terms of our elective course offerings or the classes that you know students may refer to as the fun ones, um, any of our students 9th through 12th grade can take something for the first time. So our students 9th through 12th can take Creative Writing 1, Journalism 1, Intro to Debate, or Speech. Those in 10th through 12th grade can take AP Seminar, Creative Writing 2, Debate Seminar, or Journalism Seminar. Our Journalism Seminar is where our student-led newspaper, The Voyager, is published through. Our Debate Seminar is valu very valuable for our debate members and our debate team. Our Creative Writing 2 focuses both on writing and the publication of their student work. AP Seminar is a class that is heavily research-based and allows students to seek out the answers of a question for the entirety of the course. Um, additional elective course offerings for our 11th and 12th graders include African American Lit and a semester links value. Uh, and then also Principles of Communication, which is a dual credit class. So it's equivalent to a comm class at Prairie State, which is the community college that we are currently working with. Our Humanities runs as a semester length class as well. And then our AP Research is a level two essentially from that AP seminar. So students continue to research, to synthesize um, and build an argument over time. 
A few things that are noteworthy about our extracurriculars, our Voyager newspaper routinely receives a first class ranking from the National Scholastic Press Association. They get great marks of distinction for writing and editing. Our students put together a really wonderful product and work very hard to do so. Our Edda Literary Magazine also um, receives awards on a regular basis. They routinely receive a gold medal from the Columbia Scholastic Press Association. Um, it's full of artwork from students and writing, whether it's students' um, short stories or poems or personal essays. And it's a really great compilation of all of their work. Our competitive speech team brings 11th out of 147 teams in the state. Our competitive debate team yearly qualifies for top national tournaments. And our poetic expressions group always competes in Chicago's Louder Than a Bomb Poetry Slam Festival, um, which is a very well-known poetry competition in the state of Illinois. So what can my students expect? What is um, something that I'm going to, or they're going to carry on through their English classes. First and foremost, I'd say all of our teachers say that they love discussion, that um, discussion is a huge portion of their class. So aside from reading and analyzing text, aside from working on their writing or their speeches, class discussions really drive a lot of the things that we do. We want our students to have a voice, to share their opinions, to draw conclusions, to make inferences, and to collaboratively share those with others. Um, we hope and can expect that our students will find a new piece of literature, whether it's something they've read their freshman year or their senior year. We believe that our students will leave HF having a new favorite uh, piece. We expect, um, and you can expect that your students will have improved communication skills that might be understanding more um, precisely how to write a more formal email to somebody, or maybe it's writing a longer analytical essay. Um, maybe it's acquiring speaking skills that they've not had before. Uh, your students can expect to refine and hone in on all of those things. We also, um, your students can expect and we can expect and hope that they will gain some appreciation for um, literature and the arts and, and examining different genres and you know the purposeful language and, and reasoning that authors may choose for their work and really gaining an appreciation of different perspectives. Uh, we also um, would suggest that our students can expect some dynamic learning experiences. You know, all of our teachers work really hard to be innovative um, and to really engage our students and are constantly seeking out ways to better their craft. Um, and honestly, it benefits the students for the sake of them doing so. And finally, you can expect, they can expect, we can expect that they will take skill sets from our English classes and be able to transfer them to other areas. So whether that's another course that they're using them in or whether it's a collegiate setting or a work setting um, or even just in common casual conversation with others, um, skills that they learn and refine in our classes are certainly transferable to other places. Ultimately, if you have any questions, again, my name is Janet Daniels and I am the English chair. My email is there, jdaniels at hf233.org and my extension is 5575. Please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you.